Welcome to this micro metal installation guide. In this video, we'll walk you through the step by step process of installing the ECD PR2 BCCADT0B economizer on a train rooftop unit. Be sure to follow all safety guidelines and check the provided documentation for any unit specific details. Parts overview Before we start the install, let's go over what comes in the box. You'll find a 10K OHM discharge sensor with an adapter harness, an actuator harness, and all the screws you'll need for the install. Now, a couple of key things to keep in mind. This economizer does not come with controls, so any necessary controls, like outdoor air sensors, need to be sourced separately. There are no wiring schematics or control instructions included, so be sure to refer to the appropriate train documentation if needed. If you're working with a vertical or horizontal economizer, the actuator harness will be different, but the hardware bag stays the same. Let's get started. Start by removing the return air cavity access panel from the rooftop unit. Simply unscrew the screws around the panel. Then carefully lift off the panel and set it aside. Next, remove the two screws from the filter access panel, then carefully lift it off and set it aside for reinstallation later. Next, unpack the economizer assembly and inspect all components for any missing or damaged parts. If anything is missing or damaged, contact Micrometal immediately before proceeding. Now, slide the economizer assembly into the return air cavity. Once in place, shift the assembly to the left, aligning it over the return air opening. In some cases, it may be necessary to insert the right side first, then the left side, before sliding it into position. Lower the economizer assembly until it fully encases the return air opening flanges on the base of the unit. While screws are not required to secure the assembly, Holes are provided in the vertical flanges to help square it up as needed. It's important that the economizer assembly is installed squarely within 1 32nd of an inch to prevent damper leakage or binding. Next, install the relief panel using the 12 provided screws as shown. After securing the relief panel, install the relief hood by attaching it to the relief panel using the provided number 10 screws. In some cases, the grill may not come pre-installed and will need to be installed on-site. In this video, we have demonstrated the installation of the grill as part of the relief hood assembly. Now, install the outside air hood components. Begin by attaching the left outside air hood side to the unit, followed by the right side. Secure the outside air hood base to each hood side. Then install the hood top securing it to both hood sides and the unit.
and install the appropriate filler panel above the hood. Next, insert the filter into the outside air hood top. Now that we have finished installing the economizer assembly, let's move on to controls. Let's get started with the installation. Step 1. Start by connecting the actuator harness to the actuator. Step 2. Route the control harness. Next, we'll route the control harness from the actuator over to the Fresh Air Options module, or FAOM. Here's what you need to know. The Fresh Air module isn't included, so if you don't have one, you'll need to purchase it separately from Train. The FAOM is located inside the return enclosure. Use the factory installed wire ties to secure the harness as you route it. Pro tip the wire ties have a releasable feature. So if you need to make adjustments, just open and close them as needed. For this demonstration, we're skipping the use of wire ties to make it easier to see the installation process. However, when installing in the field, be sure to secure the harness properly using the provided wire ties. Once everything is in place, connect the harness from FAOM to the Fresh Air Options module at P11. Then plug J8 connects directly into port P8. Make sure they are both fully seated and secure. Place any excess harness inside of the cavity and shut the door. Step 3. Locate and route the gray plug. First, remove the four screws holding the gas heat panel in place. Then, lift off the panel and set it aside. Now, let's find the gray plug on the UC700 board. You're looking for P14, which is in a small compartment just above the gas heat section. First, remove any zip ties securing the plug. Then, route the harness through the bulkhead opening to the left and into the coil area. Next, we need to route the plug through the armor flex insulation that separates the oil area from the next compartment. Here's how. Carefully pull back the flex insulation. Feed the gray plug through the opening. Then, push the insulation and plug back in place. Now, on the coil side of the unit, if your unit doesn't already have a discharge sensor, you'll need to install one near the blower. For demonstration purposes, we'll show a quick clip of the discharge sensor being installed. Once it's in position, connect the discharge sensor extension harness to the sensor. Then take the gray PPF 77 plug and connect it to the gray plug on the sensor extension harness. Final steps and that's it. Now just reinstall all rooftop unit access doors and panels and you're good to go. If you have any questions about Symbio controls, reach out to Train Tech Support. Refer to the provided control document for detailed economizer setup procedures. Once setup is complete, reinstall all rooftop unit and economizer filters, as well as all access doors and panels. And that's it. Your Micrometal ECD PR2 BCCADT0B economizer is now installed and ready for operation. For additional setup details, refer to the provided documentation or visit micrometal.com for more resources. Thanks for watching.